Hello, Junk Wax Investor community. Hope everybody's having a great day. Back at you with another exciting video. This one, we're looking at the 10 most expensive Junk Wax era football cards that sold on eBay in the last two weeks. We got a pretty good top 10 for you. As well, I got some bonus cards at the end, so make sure you stay tuned for those. Criteria for the list and the excluded sets are up on the screen. No changes, so we will jump right into the list. All right, starting things off in the 10th spot from 1987 tops, we have Jim Kelly's rookie card, graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $463. This is a pop of 377 in a Gem Mint slab, and boxes of 1987 tops have recently sold for around 200 to uh, 300 bucks. In the number 9 spot from 1992 tops, we have the Brett Favre Second Year Gold Parallel graded a PSA 10. This car sold for $500. This is the 6th highest sale with the record being $1,225 from back in March. You can find these in Series 2 boxes of 1992 tops. And the Gold Parallels are inserted one per pack and these boxes have recently sold for around 50 to 60 bucks. In the number 8 spot, we'll go back to 1987 tops, this time for Jerry Rice, graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $650. Pop of this card is $347, and as mentioned, these boxes sell for around $200 to $300. In the number 7 spot from 1991 score, we have the Barry Sanders Dream Team autograph, and this is limited to 500 copies. Is sold in raw condition for $655. These autograph Dream Team inserts is an 11 card set were randomly inserted into second series packs. And according to score, the odds of pulling them were not less than 1 in 5,000 packs. Now there are a lot of fakes out there and the, the way you distinguish it from the regular Dream Team cards. Had a fake printed type autograph on the back of the cards. And the 500 actual autograph cards were autographed on the front and on the back. That portion is blank as seen in these pictures. So make sure if you're looking for one, that's the easiest way to tell if it's an actual one of these ones that were inserted into packs. You can find Series 2 boxes of 1991 score for around 15 to 20 bucks on eBay. In the number 6 spot from 1991 Pro Line, we have Bill Belichick's autographed rookie card, graded a PSA Authentic, and it sold for $895. This is a Pop 29 that are only authenticated, and boxes of 1991 Pro Line portraits sell for around $20. Bucks. In the number 5 spot from 1992 Stadium Club, we have Brett Favre's second year card, graded a pristine BGS 10. This card sold for $996. In a pristine slab, this is a low, low pop of only 8, and there are no higher graded black labels. Subgrades were 10 for centering edges and surface, and a 9.5 for corners. This card was found in Series 3 or High Series boxes of 92 Stadium Club, which have sold for around $650 to 800 bucks. And this will probably be the last time that this Brett Favre makes it on this list because I think I'm going to move that into the excluded sets list because they're pretty hard to find in a half decent price. In the number 4 spot, 1991 Top Stadium Club, we have Brett Favre's rookie card graded a pristine BGS 10. This card sold for $1,125. This card is a low pop of only 22 and like the second year one, there is no higher graded black label. Subgrades were 10 for centering edges and surface and a 9.5 for corners. Boxes of 91 Stadium Club have recently sold around 60 to 100 bucks. Hello Junk Wax Investor community. I'm excited to announce a new affiliate partnership that we have with BCW Supplies. You'll save 10% off your next retail order of sports car supplies. Use the link in the description below and on checkout use the code JUNKWAX10. All right, let's get into the top three. Up first, from 1988 tops, we have Bo Jackson's rookie card, graded a PSA 10. This card is sold for $1,350. Pop of this card is 531, and boxes of 88 tops have recently sold for around $115 to $135. 
In the number two spot from 1990 score supplemental, we have Emmett Smith's rookie card, graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This card sold for $1,635. This is a pop of $747, and these 1990 score supplemental sets that sell for around $130 to $145. Bucks. Make sure you find one that's hopefully factory sealed still and hasn't been searched. In the number one spot, topping the list this week from 1991 Wildcard Collegiate, we have the Brett Favre Pre-Rookie Card 1000 Stripe graded a Mint SGC 9. This is a tough card to find. This copy sold for $6,200. And in an SGC Mint Slab, it's a Pop 2 and there are none graded higher. A PSA 9 sold in November of 2020 for $9,000. So this was probably actually a pretty good buy. Boxes of 1991 Wildcard Collegiate are around 55 to 60 bucks on eBay. All right, that's it for the top 10. The total was $14,469. And that's a pretty strong total. And as you see from the graph, we're starting to head in that upwards direction. Let's see if it continues. All right, we're going to do some bonus cards. But before we do, make sure you take a second and hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. It helps grow the channel. All right, bonus card time. Let's see what kind of goodies I found this week. Up first, we have a 1988 Top Cello Pack. This pack sold for $232.50. This is my kind of pack right here, being a Bo Jackson collector. As the uh, listing said, there's a Bo Jackson rookie card showing on the front as well as a Bo Jackson rookie card on the back as well. So there you go. Guaranteed two Bo Jackson rookie cards in this cello pack. What are the odds of that? How cool is this? $232.50. From 1989 tops, we have Hall of Famer Chris Carter's rookie card graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $200, and it's a pop of $221. Probably would have made the list some weeks, but not this time. From 1994, University of Miami Bumblebee Seafoods, we have the Dwayne The Rock Johnson Perforated Card, graded in SGC 4.5. This low-grade card sold for $565. It's a pop two and there are 12 higher graded SGC slabs with the highest being an 8.5. From 1989 tops, we have John Elway graded gem in PSA 10. This car is sold for $87 and it's a pop of only 133. From 1989 tops traded, we have Hall of Famer Steve Atwater's rookie card graded a PSA 10. This car is sold for $102.50. This is a record sale. Previous high was $97 for March, and this card is a pop of 179 So some of the other lesser-known Hall of Famers, their rookie cards are kind of starting to creep up too. From 1993 Upper Deck, we have a Jerome Bettis Rookie Exchange Rookie Card graded a PSA 10. This card sold for $121.50, and it's a low pop of only 38 from 1994 Ultra Flare, we have the Dan Marino Hot Numbers Insert, graded a PSA 10, and it sold for $91. This is a record sale. The previous high was $15 from 2017, and it's a low pop of only 19. What a cool looking insert, too. From 1993 SP, we have the Troy Aikman All Pros Die Cut Insert, graded a Gem Mint PSA 10. This car sold for $105.19, second highest sale, and it has a low pop of only 10. There really is a lot of superstar low pop inserts in football that I think are just great buys out there right now. Eventually, the market will catch on. From 1991 Pro Set Platinum, we have Brett Favre's rookie card, graded a PSA 10. This car sold for $75 and has a pop of 469 one of the other far rookie cards that's out there. From 1994 Pacific Prisms, we have the Marshall Falk Rookie Card Gold Parallel, graded a mint BGS 9. This card sold for $75. With these prisms, there is reportedly 16,000 of each card produced in silver foil, 
and 1138 of each card produced in gold foil. So these parallels each pack contained either a silver or a gold prism card. So this is a BGS 9 pop of only 4 and there are none graded higher. And the highest grade on PSA is a PSA 9 as well. So this is pretty much mint is the highest grade out there. So not a bad buy. From 1994 Classic Draft, we have a Jerry Rice autograph card numbered to 1994 in raw condition and it sold for a steal at $63.22. From 1991 Wild Card, we have a Herschel Walker 1000 stripe in raw condition, sold for 81 bucks. That was a pretty good deal. These 1000 stripes are pretty rare, and to get someone like Herschel Walker, I think that was a good buy. Up next, we have a lot of 1990 Barry Sanders second year cards. We have Tops, Action Packed All Madden, Score Ground Force subset and a pro set all graded gem in psa 10s and it sold for 229 dollars and 23 cents so that action packed is a pop of only 26 and the rest are all a little bit more common so so pretty good buy you're under 60 bucks a card from 1991 tops we have the emmett smith super rookie graded a gem in psa 10. this is obviously not a true rookie card as his rookie year was in 1990, as we saw from the top 10. But still a pretty cool card, and it sold for $141.59. And then finishing us off, we have a 1984 Topps USFL factory sealed set, and it sold for $605. So just an idea, I'm not saying that you would pull PSA 10s out of here, but it, if you were so lucky, the Jim Kelly sells for over four grand. Steve Young sells for like nine or ten grand. Uh, the Reggie White in PSA 10 sells for like twenty to twenty-five thousand bucks. Herschel Walker's over two grand. So even PSA nines, the Reggie White's like six hundred bucks if you can get it in a nine. Uh, the other one's three, four hundred bucks. So six hundred five bucks for a factory seal set of eighty-four tops USFL. Is it a deal? Not a deal? Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Alright, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you haven't done so already, hit that like button. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. In addition, hit that bell icon and get notifications so you don't miss out on any of our future great content.